What's up, YouTube? It's Eric, a Lions fan here. Thanks for clicking on this video. And in today's video, we're going to talk about the Detroit Lions and the start of the free agency. They made kind of a small splash, not real big. They didn't get any of the big free agents that are out there, and I'm kind of glad they are. They're doing that. We kind of know what, uh, kind of what team that Bob Quinn's trying to mold around here. I got some notes here, uh, down here that I've written down here. So let's go ahead and get started here. And we'll see what kind of players uh, Detroit got. Well, guys, the biggest one of the whole entire free agency so far is the Detroit Lions got Marvin Jones. I believe he is from Cincinnati. They, <clears throat> On my notes here, he, a five-year deal worth $40 million, uh, $27 million in the first three years. That's what he'll be getting paid in his contract. $13 million guaranteed and $8 million signing bonus. So a lot of money is... A lot of the money's up front, which I, I don't know how I feel about that. I'm, I'll, I'll admit, guys, I'm not real big on the contracts and how all that stuff works out. But I, I, to me, at five years, $40 million, that's $8 million a year, I believe. Yeah, $8 million a year, which really, compared to Calvin's contract and Marvin Jones, I you're kind of getting a little bit of a deal here, but... I don't think Marvin Jones is quite worth $8 million. Now, granted, he put up some good numbers while he was there, and he wasn't he wasn't real targeted. He was doing well with the deep ball from what I've read on uh, Detroit News, which is where I've gotten all my information thus far and throughout this entire video. Um, but I guess we're going to have to see how he works out. We don't have that prolific wide receiver. We have Tate, uh, we have Ebron, and we have Pettigrew. But anybody other than that, I don't know, guys. We're going to have to see how this all works out. I think the Detroit Lions, based on kind of what I've read through here in free agency, I think they're going to try to get their running game going and their, uh, their uh, offensive line solidified. Well, guys, they also signed uh, Nagata for a two-year deal at $12 million with $6 million guaranteed. So basically, it's a really, it's a two-year two deal worth $6 million when it all comes down to it because six million is going to be up front guaranteed and that's probably going to be paid it's going to be anamorized throughout the two-year deal so more or less you're getting them for two years six million dollars kind of thing not not too bad i didn't really find anything wrong with nagata he's known a dominican sue that's for sure uh he didn't really make a real big impression while he was down in miami by any stretch of the imagination so i don't know for two-year deal, I think that's probably the most the Detroit wanted to, to get him for. And then after that, I don't really see him coming back. Also, guys, the Detroit Lions picked up Tavon Wilson. He was from the New England Patriots. And Bob Quinn was from New England to begin with. So he must have liked him enough to grab him over here. And I didn't get any contract details from him. I'm sure that will probably be coming out later. But he was a backup safety, which kind of solidifies our... Uh, our secondary a little bit more, which if you guys watch the Detroit Lions at all, that was a kind of a weak spot of ours, and I'm glad we're kind of starting to address that. We also picked up Stefan Charles. Uh, I didn't grab where he was from, but he was 27 years old. He was on, only on a one-year deal. It's kind of a, a prove-it kind of deal from uh, the Lions. I didn't get any money from him either. Uh, I can't remember what line he plays. I think it's defensive tackle. I could be wrong, guys. I didn't jot it down here on my notes when I really should have. I apologize. And kind of round it out here, guys, we got Johnson Betamosi, I believe that's how you pronounce his name. A two-year deal worth $4.5 million. Uh, he is a special teams kind of specialist. Uh, I believe we kind of need a guy that's on special teams to be a leader. And I think Johnson can fit that bill if he wants to. All of our free agency stuff so far, guys, I'm... I'm pleased with. I'm not happy with. I'm not ecstatic, but I'm pleased with kind of what we're going here. Uh, unfortunately, we did let Lewis go. He went to Minnesota, and we let Wright uh, go in free agency. So, not a real big splash, guys, by any means of the imagination. Um, I like the moves that we're making. They're not the big moves like the Texans are doing, which they kind of seem to be going out on a big splash on some folks. But I kind of like what I'm seeing so far from Quinn. Now, granted, it's only in his first year. 
We still have the draft coming up to try to figure out kind of really kind of where we're going with the draft. But from what I've seen here, guys, he's kind of going on the defensive side of the ball. And I hope he kind of spreads the wealth here as free agency goes along and when the draft comes along here, too. Go ahead and do a like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you guys think so far in free agency. I think the Lions are headed on the right track. By any means, guys, I don't think we're going to go to the Super Bowl or the playoffs or anything like that. But based on what I've seen thus far and what kind of the core group of guys we got, we I'm not saying we're going to make the playoffs, but I feel really good about at least going 500. And if we go 500, even if we go 9-7, and 10-6, and 6, and perhaps even make the playoffs, that's even better for us. So anyway, guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here, guys. I hope to see you guys again soon. Deuces.